Good evening and welcome back once again. So this is it, the second leg against Milan in the Europa League semi-final. We take a 2-0 win into this leg at home now. Can we get into our first European final at our first chance? Back at home for our first semi-final in the Europa League. Can we win a European competition at our first attempt? It's looking good, taking that 2-0 win back home. Not going to get a better chance than this. And like I say, going to move very much a full strength lineup. Schubert and goal. The standard back four. We've got Herrera, Mariba, and Vieira in midfield. I did drop Cousins just because he's on a little bit of a downward form. And front three of Castro, Martinelli, and Perez. So pretty much apart from Cousins is pretty much our standard lineup. Um Cousins being out rather. But again, very interchangeable the likes of Mariba and well that's not a free kick to start with. Referee, please don't start this early in the game. Cannot be asked with referees being just absolute dicks. And apologies if you hear some weird noises. In the last episode, which I literally just recorded, like ended recording five minutes ago, there was a, a car revving up for around about 40, 45 minutes outside my house, just sitting there. Um, so before I started recording this one, I waited for that to go eventually. And now, um, because I live in a flat, upstairs I've decided, I don't know if it's music or something, but this is weird very slow pulsing sort of bass sound um, that keeps stopping and starting so hopefully you won't be able to hear that on the recording because it's not too loud but yeah anyway um, Milan were very solid in the last game very hard to break down even though we did score two goals oh, but not so looking so solid here Nice work from Perez. Oh. Emerson. Lovely ball. Yeah, well, anyway, they did look pretty solid in the, the first leg early on. Castro. Good tackle in the end there. But um, I've already given, I wouldn't say clear cut chances, but we've made it uncomfortable for them so far. And he's probably not quick enough to get there. Oh, he does win it back, though. That looked like a foul to me. I mean, you can feel the vibration on the uh, controller when you get tackled. And they did def definitely not got the ball, so they definitely touched by play it. Maybe not quite strong enough to be considered a foul. That is a foul, though. Lovely cut in from Martinelli. And referee doesn't show any hesitation in blowing his whistle. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, nice little burst of speed. Clear foul there. Morinelli will be the taker. <sighs> Went the right way, and if they go the right way, they always save it. Guaranteed. It's only bad thing. I mean, it wasn't the best of penalties. It wasn't strongly hit or anything. You don't get too many penalties anyway, but... Um, could probably do with improving that, to be honest. It's very predictable. As soon as you see their goal, keep going the right way, you know it's saved. Um... So I don't know where really the goalkeeper skill in penalty saving comes in because I've never seen one. Oh, hang on a minute. Oof, nearly give away penalty myself. I dived in. I really shouldn't have. Not the goalkeeper, the defender. Goalkeeper had it covered. Nice play there, Perez. Been a fr frenetic start. <laughs> this is not what like the first half an hour was like in the uh, first leg. It was very measured. It was sizing each other up. I know there hasn't been a goal yet, but it feels like there's one coming, and more likely from us, but 
equally could easily give away a chance again oh nice ball there nice clearance but yeah already a third of the way through the game and um, it's absolutely flown over for me good tackle there oh very unlucky how unlucky was that Let's have a look again. It was a nice interception or tackle, and it's just hit off back. <laughs> Didn't have time to react after that, and it's in the back of the net. Well, the way the game was going, that's probably the type of goal that I was expecting, really. Oh, lovely ball through to Martinelli. Uh, straight at the keeper. Didn't have time to take it any further. Defender was closing in. Had to get the shot away. And it's a comfortable save in the end. And where is the defence? Lovely clearance. Where's the defence? I'm not playing attacking. As in the... Uh... It's just on in the middle. The settings. Lovely ball there. Oh, that's a foul. What's a penalty? That wasn't outside the box. His foot was clearly inside the box when he got hit. Back at... <laughs> went for the spectacular I think if he had have actually hit that on target the uh, defender was in the way it was well wide but Milan very much back in this game now in terms of the tie as a whole that's just what we didn't want oh lovely ball oh I thought that was in from Castro. It was so well struck. And again, I had to take the shot because the defence, the defender was um, gaining on me there. And if I took one touch, I was definitely going to lose it. Oh, just wide of the post. It was beautifully struck, though. It felt very clean. More often than not, if I hit it exactly the same, that's going to be going in. Oh, Castro, oh, he just was stopping himself from being offside there. I felt like he could have just continued. There it is, half time, we'll jump straight back in. And just looking at the stats at half time, we had slightly better possession, obviously the more chances and shots, but... Again, it's just taking your chances, that's, that's what's counted at the end of the day. And they took theirs. Martinelli's in here though. And it's in off the post. Lovely finish there. Broke up the play by Mariba and it's a perfectly weighted pass through to Martinelli. And it's just whether we can get this on target. Perfectly placed. Yeah, you see the pass there. And Martinelli, you know, nine times out of ten, or even nine and a half times out of ten, at this uh, sort of position, he's going to score. Maybe a little bit too close for comfort, hitting off the inside of the post, but it's back to level pegging on the day, and more importantly, a two-goal lead restored for the tie. Here's back at no Martinelli. Ooh, just trying to cut inside there. Nelly. Good block by Omaradjik. Oh, good save. 
Very good save. Well, what was I saying about Martinelli? That was the one time he didn't score. I mean, it was a very good save. He hit the target. And to be honest, that's what you want to do. You, you want to make sure you don't miss the target. If the keeper happens to pull off a great save, fair enough. It's just about kept them in this. Three goal lead with, you know, 35 minutes left. They would have been out of it. Um, it's not the best of balls, but win it. Maribe. Castro. Now Martinelli. Back to Martinelli. Oh, and he said it wide. I wasn't trying to go for that corner. I was trying to go for the opposite corner. The usual, just curl it round. I was aiming that way, so I'm not sure why. But even then, you would expect him to hit the target. Maybe I've jinxed it with my uh, little comment about him scoring the last one. Play. Here's back at Martinelli. Maribe. Now Vieira. Ooh, defender just got a toe on it. That's good uh, defending. Castro. Off the post. Oh. We'll make some subs now. And we are bringing on Ziggs, Steve Rubin, Castro. Mudrick is coming off Mar Martinelli. And we're going to take off Mariba and put on Harrington. Not ideal subs in a way, just because they're on a couple of them on downward oranges. But they're still good players. It's not like, you know, and they're fully fit. Full energy. That's a foul. That should be yellow as well. Nope, just a talking to. Here's Perez. That'd be a corner. Should have done better there in a way. Ooh. Again, slightly unlucky with the deflection. Just a little bit clumsy there. I thought I got the ball, but it took a lot of the player as well, I suppose. I mean, I like to win every game, but... Let's hold that thought. <laughs> yep. I, I was going to say I would have taken a 1-1 before the game, if that's what it ends up as. Still a long way to go, though. Still a good 20 minutes or so. Back air. Oof. Well, the keeper, I think, was just out of position because he made that look more spectacular than I think it actually was. Oh, nicely played from Yeah, He's very tired. Here's Carlos Perez. Tries to get the shot away. It's actually good defending in the end. As he is Emerson. Haven't seen really any of uh, Emerson so far today. And here he is, though. <laughs> well, oh, you got to feel sorry for the defender there. Great work from Emerson. And a decent shot by Perez. It clearly wasn't on target. I don't think we're going to watch that. The poor defender. And that's complete kill him off. You know, even with only 10 minutes remaining or just over. You know, you get one. There's always a chance. Uh, but that's just killed him off now. And we might end up winning this uh, leg as well completely. Oh, nice play. Mudrick. Oh, wide. Maybe could have taken a touch, but again, these defenders are so quick. Even slow defenders are quick when it's the AI. If I took one touch there, yeah, maybe would have 
caught me. I don't know. I think I made the right decision. I just, um, and I struck her fairly well. Mudrick to Xerxes. Back to Mudrick now. Showing his pace. Fouled there, surely. Maybe a couple of times. Here's Harrington. Ah, Mudrick, wrong decision. And it's gone a bit scrappy. Ooh. Oh, and Ibrahimovic has hit it wide. I mean, one thing you would not say about Ibrahimovic is that he's quick. He's strong, he's athletic. But the pace he showed there is just a typical AI. Uh... Yeah. They're just naturally quicker than any of your players, basically, in those one on one situations. Every time. Booting up the pitch there, not taking any risk. Nice tackle from Xerxes. And a nice little ball to Mudrick. Carlos Perez. Oh, should have scored. Could have passed it to Xerxes for a tap in as well. Nearly another. That was costing him, I'm sure, at that time. Lovely header. Good save. It's exactly what you want to do. Headed downwards. Here's Backer. Maybe one last chance. Mudrick. Oh, the defender just gets a toe poke on the ball just as I was shooting. And that'll be it. We're through to our first European final. A great win at home. Tough game, though. I just looking at the stats, very dominant. Obviously, Milan went ahead. Not really expected, but possession-wise, shot-wise, very much the dominant team. And 4-1 over two legs, I would say, is, is about as good as we can expect against a team like Milan. Martinelli, man of the match. Again, I wouldn't uh, say anything against that. He scored one. He had a chance to score a couple of others, hitting the post and having it saved and hit one wide, actually, as well. But very, very good, solid all-round performance. And as you can see on the bottom there, West Ham actually managed to get through. And I had a quick look. It looks like, because they were losing 2-0 going into the second leg, it looked like that one went to extra time. So they must have got two goals back. And then they scored a further two goals in extra time to win 4-2 on aggregate. So magnificent performance from them coming back from behind. That's going to be a great final. Playing an English team, it's going to be interesting. Obviously, we've already beaten Arsenal, another London team. So let's hope we can do that in the final. But thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you next time. Cheers.